Hi, this is Ashley Dvorak from the Iowa DNR Air Quality Construction Permit Section. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to make a payment in Easy Air. I'm going to show you two different scenarios. The first scenario is how to make a payment when you're submitting an application. This applies to uh, standard construction applications that require a flat fee to be paid or templates. Um, that also require a flat fee to be paid. Of these templates could be hot mix asphalt plant or permit paint booth by rule, just to list a few. The second scenario will be for people who have to pay invoices for billion well hours, or if you decide to change your payment method and you have not made a payment yet to the department, um, and you've already submitted your application in Easy Air. Let's go ahead and get started with our first scenario. I have filled out a standard construction application, and I have put it up to the payment page and it shows that we owe a $385 flat fee for one permit application. Payment methods, there are four payment methods. You have credit card, check, money order, and e-check. If you'd like to pay with a check, um, this goes for if you want to pay your invoice or if you want to pay through the system um, with the e check, you'll have to pay it to Iowa Department of Natural Resources the Wallace State Office Building, 502 East 9th Street, 4th Floor, Des Moines, Iowa, 50319 is our address. And if mailing a check or money order in, you must do one of two things. You can either print the submittal receipt, which is which will be um, show up at the very end of this application, or you can write the smell ID on the check or money order. And the smell ID is located up here at the top of the payment page. Um, one thing to note though, on these this payment information is we do not accept purchase orders at this time as a form of payment. I'm going to go through and show you how to pay with a credit card. You want to hit next, and this can be done electronically through the system. Uh, certification of submission page will show up next, and you have to certify that everything is true, accurate, and complete in this application. You'll have to answer your security question and enter your four-digit PIN that you created when you signed up for your account. Submit. And this will take you to the electronic payment solution page. The amount due is $385. You'll pay now and you'll have to enter in your contact information. So your first name, last name, your um, mailing address, and then phone number and email address. The country's already entered in there for you, as well as the state. Obviously, if you're paying from a different state, or your billing addresses, your contact information is from a different state, you'll have to change that. Um, right now, Google Chrome is filling this in for me. If you were, this was your, wasn't your first time, you would have to type all this information in. Like I'm showing you now. Um, card information where you want to fill that in. And then the expiration date and the three digit code on the back of the card is your card security code. Card billing address. If the billing address on the credit card is the same as the contact information address, just leave this the same, use my contact information address. If the billing address is associated with a different address, please enter it please check to use a different address and enter that information here. Hit continue. And this is the review payment page. Um, 
you'll it shows that you owe three hundred eighty-five dollars. Here's the information you've entered in from the previous page. If something is not correct, please use this back link and go back to the previous page and put it in, put the fill the information in correctly, and then continue and come back to this page. We're going to confirm this, and here's the confirmation page saying that we process a $385 payment. We'll hit continue. And at this point, one of two things is gonna happen. First thing is you're gonna go back to Easy Air system, and this is gonna take you back to the SMIL receipt or confirmation of SMIL page. This is the page where if you paid by check, or money order, if you just select either of those options, you'll have to print this out and submit it with that payment. Or the other option you can do is just write this a submit ID right here on the check or money order. The second thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna receive two emails. The first email would be from the payment, from our payment um, website saying that we have confirmed that you've paid the $385 to the department. The second email you receive is a is a confirmation of submittal from Easy Air stating that we have received your submittal into Easy Air. We're going to go on now to the second scenario and I'm going to go back to my dashboard page. So say like you just made a payment in there and you 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 submit your application you said you wanted to pay with check and now you've decided I want to pay with e-check or you have an invoice that you would like to pay through Easy Air instead of sending in a check or money order to the department. Um, you wanna pay through Easy Air. What you'll do is you'll come to this, this dashboard page and you'll go up to the submittal tab here and hover over it, and come down to track submissions. you'll see in here that you owe a payment on this submission. And this will be show up this way, even if you have an invoice or if you have a payment that hasn't been made in easy error or to the department yet. Um, we haven't received check or money or anything like that. So I click on payment and this will show up. It looks very similar to the payment page on the application. It will show you your outstanding balance is 385. If it's an invoice, it will obviously it will show the invoice um, information. If you need, um, again, we only take four methods, payment, credit card, check, money order, and e-check. We do not accept purchase orders at this time as a form of payment. Um, again, if you'd like to pay with check, you can select check. And then here's the information. Um, the information will display that you either need to print the submittal receipt and mail it in, or you can write the submittal ID, um, which can be found out here. It's grayed out here, but submittal ID that you can just write on there. Put your check on morning, or if you have an invoice that you want to pay. Um, Obviously, if you have, if you want to come in here and make a payment through Easy Air, you do credit card or e-check. These are the two ways to make it through electronically. And we're going to show you the e-check this time. Make a payment. This will take you to our Iowa Government Online electronic payment solutions page. Um, you know, it's showing you that, again, you're having to make a $385 payment, one-time fee, pay now. Contact information, again, you have to put in your um, name, first name, last name, your mailing address, phone number, email address, the country and the state are already auto-filled in for you. If you need to change those, please do. And again, you can type this information in or because I'm using Google Chrome and it saved my information from a previous time of filling this form out, um, I can just have the system auto fill it or have um, Google Chrome auto fill it, excuse me. Now you can come down the payment method. This is showing an example if you're paying with a personal check, if you have a business check, this is your example of a business check. Um, please put in your routing number in this first box. And then you wanna need your account, your bank account number 
below. We'll have to do that twice. And then you have the bank account type of checking savings. Um, just select which one it is. And then if this is a business account, please check the business account box. You'll hit continue. Again, you'll get this review page where you can review the information you entered in previously. If any of this information is incorrect, again, there is this back link button to go back to the previous page and re-enter the information and get it correct. Did. Um, one difference between the credit card and the e-check page is you will actually have to fill out um, accept the terms and conditions for the e-check. That the department, um, the biggest thing is the department will electronically debit my, your bank account for the amount, the frequency, and the dates forth above. It's a one-time payment of the amount would be 385 or whatever amounts listed here, and the payment date would be today's date. Um, you confirm this, and this gives you confirmation that a payment is scheduled. Hit continue. Two things will happen. You'll go back to Easy Air to that track submissions um, page. And the second thing is you'll get a payment email confirmation stating that you paid the amount that you owed. If you have any questions on anything we've gone over, please feel free to contact us or the help desk. Thank you.